All right, guys, welcome back to the table. We have Samantha and Pastor Justin here, and we're just going to go right into it. Uh, we're going to be I'm talking excited. about relationships today. Yes, sir. Yes, Something I need help on. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Justin, I'm going to let you just start off because... You have a successful marriage, you know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> well, I'll be married for ten. This is gonna be eleventh year, but come on, wow. thankful, 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 thankful for Anisha, thankful for our family and mm -hmm. people, but also relationships. When we look into the whole aspect of relationships, relationships started with God. Yeah, it originated in God. The idea of relationship. Yeah. yeah. The Bible tells us that in the beginning, when God created the universe, the world, which mm -hmm. is formless and empty, mm -hmm. yeah. the triune God, mm -hmm. you know, now you have to understand they share a relationship, a cordial work relationship between the Father God, the Son Jesus, yeah. and the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit right. together mm -hmm. in that relationship with each other. You know, they created the world mm -hmm. in from nothing. They brought a form and a fashion to the world that we see right now mm -hmm. in the Garden of Eden. When God saw man alone, right? Mm -hmm. When God saw Mr. Adam alone, he mm -hmm. created a madam. Yeah. So that he can, <laughs> he can fellowship, he can commune. Yes. Come on, somebody. Sorry for my poor dad jokes. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I would say relationships started in God. Mm -hmm. And the idea of relationships is to make sure that each of us, we, in a natural sense of pursuit towards one another, mm -hmm. you also never miss the point that we pursue him. Yeah. Right? right if relationships began in god he must be the center of all our relationships yeah. he is that force that brings all of us together yeah. as yeah. a husband and wife or as a son daughter mm -hmm. to parents or in whatever circumstances we are engulfed in, we are all sharing some sort of a relationship right mm -hmm. you know yeah. in work we are sharing work relationships yeah. you know and um, of course we'll definitely talk more into the marriage mm -hmm. and the dating and mm -hmm. all of that aspect yeah. of relationship yeah. but all of us we are created not to do life alone yep. right. we are created to do life with Together. people yeah. mm -hmm. around us yeah. so we all in whatever case it is we all are sharing relationships mm -hmm. One of the most important things we understand in those relationships are that let those relationships help us get closer to God. Come on. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Samantha. Yeah. Yes. Are you currently in a relationship? No, I'm not. Wow. No. <laughs> it's the overprotective no, no. brother, isn't it? No, um, no, actually, it's because nobody has figured out we're siblings. Uh, Everyone already thinks we're dating each other. So, uh, like, we got to fix that for sure. No. So, if you're watching, please reach out uh, to please, uh, come, come on. her brother yeah. because... No. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's get, let's back, get back to... Uh, uh, the topic, but mm -hmm. so you're currently in the season of singleness. Yes, hallelujah, sotro. Man, right? So, like in this, you say hallelujah, sotro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Come on, somebody. So, in this season of singleness, like, what are some things that you've been learning <clears throat> that Excuse maybe me. things that like you would want other people to know yeah. that you wish you knew earlier mm. in the season. I think for me, like before this, I was in a relationship for a while, like a few years. Mm. I think the big thing for me that I learned is about being able to work on myself first. And like it, when you're in a relationship with someone, it's about following like your own values and not compromising on them. Mm. Especially like um, when you're dating another Christian, like you would expect them to have the same godly yeah. values in their life. But everyone grows up in a different way. Yeah. You know, like everyone has a different understanding of those values and the attributes that you should have when you love someone. Yeah. And I think that's something that I am still like trying to figure out on my own and learning. Mm -hmm. But Absolutely. what do you think is like a healthy way? Like in every relationship, you're going to like, you're going to have disagreements. You're going to argue with the person, right? Mm -hmm. So how do you think that's a healthy way to like deal with the, the disagreements? Um, we would deal with disagreements because... In, in a marriage, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at a marriage, what happens is two are becoming one. one. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the picture of marriage. Mm -hmm. And every time I do somebody's wedding or talk or preach during the time, we, we talk about it mm -hmm. like, hey, two individuals are coming together in yeah. a holy matrimony, mm -hmm. in a holy wedding. But still, the other person, mm -hmm. whoever, husband and the wife, the mm -hmm. groom and the bride, you yeah. know, after they get married, 
the next day they have to do the same old work you mm-hmm. know after the vacation comes off after the honeymoon period is done mm-hmm. they have to go back to their workspaces so are you all going together to the same workspace yeah. no you're yeah, going yeah. back to Separate. two different places why mm-hmm. because you both are two individual separate being yeah mm-hmm. right so disagreement come in between because sometimes what happens is though we are all coming together to do the work in marriage mm-hmm. but disagreements come in between because i am different mm. and i need to see my wife is also different Yeah. yeah right in her thoughts in our actions anisha and i we're very different mm. yeah. like polar opposites right we are very <laughs> different <laughs> yeah we are very different yeah, yeah. you know there are things that i like in a certain way she doesn't mm-hmm. there are colors i like she doesn't yeah. you know there are yeah. things that and i need to find out mm-hmm. that do i need to have a peaceful rest tonight <laughs> or not you know yeah. so disagreements do come mm-hmm. in between because now we need to see and understand and value it mm-hmm. and also recognize every individual that god has created mm-hmm. he's created in his perfect image right yeah. right so in the end of the day when disagreements come do we just walk away from it mm-hmm. we have to evaluate yeah. like is this impacting long term yeah. decisions of my mm-hmm. life mm-hmm. not is it just impacting the short term or long term yeah. evaluating all of this put together mm-hmm. gives us the right sense and space for us to actually that becomes a deciding factors should i continue to be in this if you're courting should mm-hmm. i continue mm-hmm. to be in this relationship or not mm-hmm. will this affect as a marriage will my marriage mm-hmm. be affected if i make any drastic you know decisions based off these disagreements that have mm-hmm. come out yeah um one of the ways that um you know it has helped us is and we're still working on it mm-hmm. i'm not saying that we're perfect but um in a relationship too um everybody is changing around us yeah constantly social media is changing mm-hmm. marketing is changing mm-hmm. algorithms for all of these platforms are changing individuals and human beings are changing too mm-hmm. i yep. was not what i was yesterday i was i'm not what i was last year mm-hmm. in other words anisha and i we got married 11 years ago yeah. she is not what she was when i got married to her 11 years ago right. i am not that person what i was 11 mm-hmm. years ago we all have changed yes. we all have changed so in the process of change mm-hmm. i need to continue to know that she is changing mm-hmm. or she is becoming more closer to god so mm-hmm. our marriage our relationships can thrive can be successful yeah. if god is in the center yeah, yeah. now if if i say if god is not in the center mm-hmm. then i will always want my desires mm-hmm. my yeah. things to affect and be yeah. dominant and i just start showing off things mm-hmm. you know listen jesus helps us to see what's right when we are with people right Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah. When we are with people, people become the mirror when I see myself right. Mm. Some people want to get into relationships because they want to fix people. No, you fix yourself first. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, don't even think of getting in a relationship if you have not found who you are. Right. Who's you are? What's your worth? Mm-hmm. you know, and you can't go into a relationship, oh, you know what? I'm going to change that person. No, you can't. <laughs> change yourself first have yeah. you changed yourself yeah. mm-hmm. no you can we expect others to change because we are not able to change ourselves mm-hmm. sometimes yeah. Yeah. you know and mm-hmm. i've seen a lot of those kinds of people you know they want to change others but they don't change themselves mm-hmm. so jesus helps us to see what's right when we are actually with people mm-hmm. so god will bring in people around us in maybe in a church relationship that you get to share with yeah. friends family mm-hmm. or maybe in a actual relationship between a boyfriend or a girlfriend or you're mm-hmm. courting yeah. you're ex- waiting for that time of marriage you're seeing somebody you're dating yeah. mm-hmm. you know god will bring in those people in our life where the other person will encourage us to become more like christ yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and also to add on to that mm-hmm. it's always 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 healthy mm-hmm. and a christian way to practice that uh we date someone who loves jesus yeah. right you know mm-hmm. don't be equally yoked with someone who is an unbeliever mm-hmm. or sometimes you know don't be a, i would say there's don't be a missionary in your marriage yeah, yeah. in your relationships no, right. sure, yeah. the reason is why because you don't you 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 all, all the time i get to hear this you know oh, i'm dating this person maybe i'll bring this person to jesus no you yeah. can't yeah mm-hmm. it's hard yeah. run from sin simple mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. because you can control yourself only so much right. and then your emotions go crazy in different spaces mm-hmm. so you have to guard yourself never yeah. let you guard on guard yourself mm-hmm. in your relationships yeah. because that's healthy to god but so Mm. 
what's in your mind. So with that being said, right? Like yeah. Samantha, I want to ask you this: like, mm -hmm. what are some of like the, the the core, like the the juicy, the meaty, yeah. like aspects mm -hmm. of a relationship between like two people? Yeah, right? between. I man think and the first thing is. Like Pastor said, you know, it has to be a Christian person who loves God because yeah. that's going to be like the foundation for everything. Yeah. You know, when one person is like, like one person is going to be like so into serving God, another one is just, I'm going to do the bare minimum. I'm going to come to church. I'm going to like mark my attendance. Mm -hmm. I'm here today. Like that's got to be very hard, you know, when you're like, you're trying to manage, like you want to spend time with this person, but you know that you need to serve God first. Mm -hmm. So I think the core thing is finding someone who's like, like what you said, like it has to be the equal, your own equal, yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah. If not, that's going to be a struggle for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. See, I mean, I'll go back to the scripture. It says one can chase a thousand and two can chase two thousand. So mm -hmm. coming together of a husband and a wife in that relationship setting and even while during the period when they are courting or dating, mm -hmm. I always encourage people, you know what, You're, you might be dating, but serve together yeah. in any capacity. Mm -hmm. yeah. In any capacity, find your loved one within the capacities of serving. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I would say that, you know, find a work, mm -hmm. do something creative, yeah. do something uh, where it enhances your relationship mm -hmm. too. Within the church capacities, come together to serve together, mm -hmm. you yeah. know. Number two, I will add on to that is mm -hmm. the foundation of a relationship is respect. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So number one, find somebody who is now in the aspect of relationship with husband, wife, find mm -hmm. somebody who loves God yeah. too. Uh, you should have respect for the other person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nobody is perfect. No individual is perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No husband is perfect. No wife is perfect. We all worship. We are imperfect people worshiping a perfect God. Mm -hmm. Simple, yeah. Yeah. right? Imperfect mm -hmm. people. Even yeah. in our marriage, so we are imperfect people worshiping a perfect God. Mm -hmm. So in all of that, as I say, this, I think we need to operate in mutual respect yeah. mm -hmm. i must respect my wife who is she is who she was who she is and mm -hmm. who she is becoming yeah. she needs to respect me and in the relationships that you get to share yeah. with anybody mm -hmm. respect why do you respect them because they are created in the same image mm -hmm. that you are being created yeah. Yeah. in the image of god you know as we as we do that third thing that i want to mention this is, i don't want to put an order to this yeah. mm -hmm. like numbers mm -hmm. to it but it's all very important as foundation right. and but third thing that i want to mention is john chapter 15 verse 12 jesus is our role model how to love people mm -hmm. right and in our relationship as husband and wife mm -hmm. love is that foundation yeah i love what is love love is sacrificially giving out yourself mm -hmm. love is not you know, it's an action. Love is action. God in the Bible, when he talked about love, what did he do? He displayed love. How did he do that? John 3, 16, he gave his love yeah. away as wow. a son, right? So love is sacrificial. Mm. It doesn't hold anything back. It doesn't hold grudges. When I truly love somebody, mm -hmm. I just give myself up for the person yeah. completely. Yeah. In any relation, it could be best friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you really true loyal to your best friends? Right. Do you mm -hmm. watch their back? Yeah. You know, so there are things that may come up, up in our life, in the relationships that we get to share with mm. people. Mm. But Jesus is our role model for how we must love people. There are church sayings that say we love people, we love God. Do they really love people? Mm. Yeah. Do you feel safe when you walk into those churches? Mm -hmm. I pray that our church or wherever we get to serve the body of Christ, we get to be a place where we love people because yeah. Christ loved us. Yeah. Right. No matter what you look, your skin, your smell, you yeah. come from, your yeah. wear, your clothing, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. We want to love you because Christ loved the world. Right. That's true. Right? We hate sin but love people. Yeah. yeah. Right? So we, I think the foundation for love that I mentioned in relationship is as, uh, adding on to what you just said mm -hmm. is definitely um, a place to find your partner loves the Lord. Mm. Right? Number two, being respect in that relationship. Mm. And third, you know, like Christ be that role model of loving people yeah. in and through our life. Yeah. Right. So I want to rewind a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like you're talking about like the respect aspect, right? Mm -hmm. I want to, but can we talk a little bit more on like communication? Mm -hmm. right? because, oh, that's good. Because good I question. feel like <laughs> you with my own life, I struggle with communication, whether if it's with friends, with you, know, sometimes with you, if I can be honest, you know, like, mm -hmm. like, what are some tips or mm -hmm. some things that you would encourage people to do? Like some practical things, you know, because we're in a generation where isolation is so yeah. Yeah. popular now, but I feel like with communication will bring 
like distancing, isolation, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. With, with, with communication, you know, there are different, different ways of communication. Right. You know, when we do, you know, when I did my MBA mm -hmm. um, part of marketing, they, they talk to us about different methods of marketing. How do you mm -hmm. do that? Mm -hmm. Spoken ways and unspoken. Yeah. Yeah. And there are different ways of communication too. Even while I'm not speaking, I'm still communicating something. Right. Yeah. Right. Even in a relationship too. When people are not talking at all in the relationship, mm -hmm. they're talking. Mm -hmm. They are yeah. saying something. Say something like, huh? You know, yeah. husband and wife, yeah. they had a big fight and they're like, I'm not talking to you for the next 24 hours. But still they are saying something. Yeah. Because of the... <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're doing that with, with a lot yeah. of experience. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so while i say that you know we need to understand mm -hmm. that communication is the key aspect of bringing yeah. two individuals together right. Mm. right i believe in the beginning when adam and eve you know when eve sinned or when sin came in mm. uh, uh you know adam and eve had that conversation yeah and then they had that conversation with god yeah so in all aspects of any relationships that we get to share uh, mm -hmm. we must never forget the aspect of communication yeah so it could be a text message mm-hmm you know, with your loved one, it could be a text or a call uh, or just, you know, checking on them, just yeah. letting them know. And part of the love languages, you know, if the person needs more time mm -hmm. uh, in give that aspect, yeah. give them time because you're talking through time, mm -hmm. yeah. right? If they love what they love mm -hmm. and you're not able to provide in their language, mm -hmm. you are miscommunicating, yeah. right. right? In that language, because mm -hmm. if in a relationship you, you see there are five love languages and mm -hmm. somebody yeah. loves acts of service, mm -hmm. but uh, you can't provide that. So acts of service, you just do gifts and the other person cares less about gifts. You may give yeah. them mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. but for them, acts of service is more important. Yeah. And there are people who needs touch of affirmations and mm -hmm. all of that, you know. Yeah. So you need to know and you need to communicate in their language mm -hmm. in that relationship. Yeah. Um, maybe in wedding, mm -hmm. after wedding, there are more aspects to love language that play in after mm -hmm. your marriage. Mm -hmm. But even while you're single or while you're dating, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. there are aspects of love language you, that you take in and consider them yeah. in the relationships where God has put you and placed yeah. you, mm -hmm. you know. Absolutely. Are you blank now? <laughs> I just don't know where to steer the conversation. So Samantha, like, mm. what are like your thoughts on yeah. communication and, and the aspects of being in a relationship? I think for me, communication in a relationship, like any relationship, I actually struggle with that a lot. Like mm. just because my personality is more like, I'm going to socialize with you for a while and then like, I need to be quiet. Like, I need to recollect my energy, you know. And sometimes that kind of comes off as being rude, but I'm not trying to be rude. It's, I just really don't have, like, the social capacity anymore. Mm. But I think it's something that I'm learning, too. Like, like you know, Pastor said that everyone kind of needs different things. We need to figure out what the person needs and then do according to that. Mm -hmm. If not, it's just, like, you're thinking that... It's like, you know, people like to assume. They don't like to ask things. So I'm going to assume like, I'm just going to give you like 20 minutes of my day because you look like someone who needs my time. But mm. what they really need is for you to like really sit down and talk to them and spend time with them. So mm. yeah. I think the major takeaway for me is really about you need to learn what the other person needs. Mm -hmm. Like even between like siblings and like your family, right? You need yeah. to learn, learn <laughs> what everyone kind of <laughs> needs. Like that's, that's yeah. true. Like for me... I like my brother he communicates a lot better than me I don't communicate as good so like within my family itself I struggle to talk to them a lot like especially like it's the way you say things you know the tone I always get scolded for like the tone is how you get scolded mm -hmm. for like it's truly something I'm working on mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. like for for you pastor like since your marriage is so successful, right? Uh. How would you say you you work on that? Like sometimes like you're having a bad day. You just want to say what you want to say and move on. And that's where, you know, like Anisha, I mean, mm. we've been married for 10, 11 years. There are times when I get frustrated or she is frustrated with the, whatever. She, and we, we do take it with a grain of salt mm -hmm. when things don't, you know, like if she says something yeah. that might be rude for. 
or yeah. I might say something mm -hmm. because I need to get my frustrations out, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And so I think there's a mutual understanding there that maybe the person is just going through some stress. Yeah. Let them speak out whatever mm -hmm. they are and allow to just release it release yeah. it mm. and after that sit down and talk and find out hey if everything okay like yeah. what is the root cause there is a root cause for everything that mm. happens mm. so what is that real root cause that mm. you're going through you're facing yeah. right now so i think having that open conversation in that mm. uh, kind of elevates yeah. and uh you know like helps out in that situation mm. so like what for like timeline sake right like say you're having a rough day you mm. know like is a goal to fix what's going on that same day for the most part yeah yes for the most for the most part and um, i like to for me personally i like to get everything done 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 you know like yeah. immediately mm. i yeah. can't wait mm. for too long you know yeah. so i see someone upset i see uh in even in marriage too i see things upset i just want to get it done like yeah. what, what's wrong like yeah. what's yeah. bothering you yeah you know let's 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 talk about it mm. you know the more we put it under the carpet and more we let the sun set on mm. you know while we have hold the grudge yeah. Yeah. it's just going to cause more mm -hmm. issues you yeah. know we can do our family stuff we can mm. do things together now. Right. Uh, and i think that's very healthy and important mm -hmm. for us to understand that you know we come together immediately mm -hmm. right. if we can but if the other person needs time to process through mm. and allow that too and you know so i don't think there is a real cut through answer to it like mm. time based yeah. Yeah. but as much as you can um you know not keep it too long because yeah. the more you keep it too long mm -hmm. uh, naturally the more distance comes in yeah. between yeah yeah that's valid C could i just ask yeah, something absolutely. you know um you mentioned about you need to know the root cause of why actually you're arguing how would you suggest like for me i feel like a lot of things like f when I was in a relationship for so long, like now, you know, when people act the same way as that person is acts like as a trigger, right? How would you suggest mm -hmm. you deal with that in a in a healthy way? Those memories come back. Yeah, like, like trigger when, points. Like when someone else acts in a similar way and mm -hmm. you're like, this reminds me of the relationship mm -hmm. I was in. Like yeah. I'm gonna shut down. I'm not gonna respond to you. Right. Okay. Yeah, how would I, you it's it's you know you don't the, though there might be conversations or bits of phrases or things that they would say that yeah. might resonate with what has happened in the past mm. so you're dealing with past trauma in that issue issue yeah right and if that keeps coming back again mm -hmm. sometimes what happens is those wounds have never been healed from right. the past so you have to allow the total healing from the past relationships to take place mm. you know otherwise what happens is you know you will never be able to totally move into or move on in any new relationship right because it could be one word but mm -hmm. that one word will come up as a trigger point in yeah. your life and that yeah. will ruin and upset everything right. does that make sense you exactly. know so so i would say you know um after you're done with the relationship or you know you it doesn't work out you're moving out of that mm -hmm. you know like completely have a end to it mm. right but even after you do that there're going to be trigger points trigger trigger you know conversations mm -hmm. when you hear that yeah. process through why am i going through this mm -hmm. The only person that can help you in that is yourself. Yeah. Because you know yourself better than any other person. person yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, you right. need to sit back and realize and evaluate, oh, why did that bother me? Like mm. what is the root cause? Yeah. Why did that affect me? You know, like why yeah. is this triggering me? Mm. You know, um so in that scenario just evaluate that moment mm. in a given scenario. Yeah. Uh, and then help yourself mm -hmm. yeah. with maybe you know doing something else. Yeah. you know just to take that away from that focus right or in that space um and also allowing the spirit to work yeah. the holy spirit to work okay. for sure yeah uh, all right y'all we thank you once again for joining us on this episode please please make sure to you like follow comment mm -hmm. and subscribe we'll see you on our next episode all right y'all be blessed <laughs>